and Nate Stanley's debut as the starting quarterback for the Hawkeyes. He got off to a rough start. Stanley didn't register any passing statistics in the first quarter, but as the game progressed, so did he. Stanley threw for 125 yards and three touchdowns and proved why he earned the starting job. For weeks leading up to the start of the season, all anyone could talk about was the quarterback battle, which is why when it was announced that Nate Stanley would be starting over Tyler Wiegers, there was some doubt. And the alarmingly uneventful first quarter only added fuel to the fire. Just take a deep breath, kind of relax, um, just learn from it and flush it. You know, that's really all you can do in, in, the, in the heat of the moment is just learn from your mistakes and, and uh, take it one step at a time. And when Iowa's first pass was finally completed in the second quarter, the tides began to turn and the critics soon fell silent. Went through some rough, uh, rough times out there. Uh, and I mentioned the whole team really responded to the bumps, but I thought he did too. You know, he uh, didn't get rattled. I'm sure he was internally, but uh, you know, he stayed strong, you know, just stayed steady out there. And uh, some of those throws that he made were pretty impressive. And My teammates did a really good job. Nate Stanley played a good first game. Um, he made some good plays, threw me some good balls, and I was able to take advantage of so. As Kirk Ferentz has proved in the past, even though a starter is named, the quarterback battle is far from over. So Stanley's going to need to continue to prove why he thinks he deserves the number one spot. Reporting from inside Kinnick Stadium, this has been Lucy Rodine for Daily Iowan TV Sports.